Happy sunshine, boys and girls. Today is August 22nd, 2017. It's about oh, a little bit before 3 o'clock in the afternoon. On Tuesday, it's the day after the eclipse. And I've been doing some forensic analysis on the photographs. Uh, well, on one of the photographs that I took with my high-quality camera during the eclipse. Uh, eclipse and just to give you an idea of what uh, forensic analysis as far as photographs and videos uh, one of the best places that that I know of is this YouTube channel Paul on the Plane you guys really need to check this channel out this series here faking space image analysis series uh, you know, he's in conjunction with uh, Archer Sage here, who, it, if my memory serves me correctly, Archer Sage, uh, he works at JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And so Paul on the Plane and Archer Sage are working together on this series of videos, and, and I've learned a hell of a lot from them. So what I do in this video, the technique is explained in his faking space series. Okay, this is my folder. It's got all the all the raw stuff right from the camera. My camera makes a JPEG uh, and a raw. Uh, I don't I don't have a way on my Linux box to open up this RW2 file. I've <clears throat> I've sent this RW2 file for, let's see, I've sent this one to Paul on the plane. Uh, I'll offer to send it to Crow777. Uh, I've sent this photo to Paul on the plane. Um, and, and since this is the JPEG that's made of this RAW, and this is made by the camera, this is what I'm using for this. So, so just know I'm not working from the RAW. I'm working from a JPEG that my camera made. So. Uh, I'm going to copy this. Let's see. Actually, we're just going to go ahead and open this in GIMP and we'll copy it uh, after we get it open. So, GIMP, it's kind of like uh, Photoshop, uh, but I'm on a Linux box. <clears throat> And you can get GIMP for Windows too. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to save a copy. I don't want to work with my original. Okay, so Gamma Video. All right. And now if we save as. All right, look, we can see there's there's game of video. So what I want to do is I want to open this file that we just created. Okay. And now I want to close this one. Now I'm working with the copy, guys, okay? Over here on the left, now this might be hard to, hard to see, uh, so put this in 1080. Yeah, you're going to need this video in 1080 anyway. So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to duplicate the layer. So now I've got a copy of the layer and I can turn the visibility of these layers on and off. So, so you see it's the same thing, okay? Now this layer I'm going to set it to the type called value. And then I'm going to come over to colors. And I'm going to go to levels. And that brings, whoa. That brings up this box. Now these sliders here, this is this is like my really dark tones. This is the black. You can see what happens to the image makes it darker. Okay. Now we're back to normal. Well, what I want to do is is the area 
that is just off of the sun. So you can you can see like right around 1500, 500 roughly. This area um, where the disk of the quote unquote moon would extend out past the sun, uh, I want to look at some detail uh, that's in this photograph that, that may not be readily apparent to the eyes right now. And so I'm just playing with these different levels here. And holy cow, when I adjust the gamma, I get some really, really interesting things going on here. Look at this, guys. We can zoom into this. with an amazing amount of detail. And what I notice is very similar to what I noticed in Crow Triple Seven's footage that he posted. And with his camera, you can see what looks like, almost like uh, isotherms or isobars that you see on a weather map, you know, the, I don't know, the noise or whatever you want to call this area that's just off of the sun, all these concentric rings, they follow the contour of the sun. Now, if they're is an opaque disk that is blocking out the light source by moving in between us and the light source. My gut's telling me that, hey, there's got to be some contours that end up following the opaque object. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to export this. Gamma video, so this will be the PNG version. I'm going to export. <clears throat> uh, we don't need a compression level quite that high. We'll do a compression level 4, and we're going to export that. Okay, that's done. Now what we're going to do is pull this video up, or sorry, this window. This is video. All right, gamma noise PNG, that's this. <clears throat> so this is, this is a file very similar to what <clears throat> I sent uh, Paul on the Plane and uh, Crow 777 and Flathead Politics. You can zoom all the way into this and look. Look at, look at how the contour lines are. Look at that, guys. The only contour that is, that is followed that, that nature seems to recognize is the contour of the sun. Look at this. Watch what happens as this line gets towards the edge over here. Watch this. It's moving from left to right, and then all of a sudden it goes straight down. There's nothing that continues in a left to right motion off of this photo, guys. Look at that. All of these contour lines are following the sun and then, and then turning down and going around. 
Look, they, on the left-hand side, look at this detail here. This upper, upper left-hand corner is so dark. Look at this. Now, purportedly, this is, what, outer space. This is nothingness over here. This black is nothingness, right? Well, over here on the right-hand side of this photo, we got more of that. I can extrapolate with my eyes that that should be within the within the quote unquote disk of the moon. Look at look at the contour lines in this noise for lack of a better word. I, I think Archer Sage means something different when he says noise. This is stuff that that was captured by the camera. You know, the moon would be blocking this kind of stuff. And it's still there. It just looks like a portion of the sun is not illuminated. Now, I was really hoping that, that there was going to be some visual artifacts that, that I could see that like, oh, look, there, you can totally tell the... Uh, the disk of the moon is extending off the sun because the prominences and whatnot that, that Crow talks about in his video uh, are blocked. I mean, Crow's got very similar findings with these, with these contour lines that I do. I don't know how to explain this photo if the moon is an opaque body that is occulting a light source. I, I, don't, I don't see any observations that really let me feel comfortable about that. Other than this leading edge here is curved. It's got an arc. And if you've seen LED boards you can light up the whole board and then turn off sections and cycle those off sections all throughout the LED board and it's going to look like you've got something dark moving over this LED board. I, I mean that's... I'm not saying that that's what's going on with the sun guys, but I'm saying wow! If the moon's a solid body, where the... where is it? That's why I love this picture so much. That's why I made it the thumbnail for my eclipse video. I mean, forget the ISS, that little thing right in the middle of there. How do you explain that the light doesn't follow the contour of a solid body? How do you explain that? All right, if you got more, oh, I wonder if this shows up. Oh, very nice. So I could, I can point like that. We're going to see if that shows up in my video because that'll be very helpful workaround for me. So like right on the sunspot. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you got any love lighter links in this matter around the eclipse, send them to me. Lunacy at protonmail.com. Thank you very much. Share this with everybody. Share this with Houston Skywatch, Crow Triple Seven, Archer Sage, Paul on the Plane, uh, Take Back Space, Jaronism, Globe Busters, uh, any any of those channels that that really talk about this stuff with an open mind. Peace out. Love you guys. Bye bye.